Hey folks, Ray Hollister here for Ray's Drive Through Reviews. If you've seen the show before, you know how this works. I try out the new stuff at fast food joints and let you know what they taste like. So I'm trying out some more barbecue. The Wendy's barbecue pulled pork was pretty good. And I saw that Arby's has a barbecue brisket sandwich. So I love me some brisket. So I thought I'd try it. So here you go. Stop by them today and pick them up. Let's see what this is like. All right. All right, here we go. Here is the box. You get to see it first. Ah. Looks like beef. Mmm. I love brisket. I don't know why. It's my favorite barbecue. So I'm going to be a little biased here. I'm probably going to love this. But it looks pretty good. Take a look at that. There you go. No cheese? No cheese on it. I thought I'd have cheese. Um, of course, this comes on the King's Hawaiian Roll, which if you've never had a King's Hawaiian Roll, I'm sorry for you because they're the best things ever. And Hardee's is so smart for putting the King's Hawaiian Roll in a sandwich. Again, this is barbecue, so I'm going to have to... I don't want to get anything on my shirt. I got a job after this. Ah, okay, let's try this out. Not a lot of barbecue sauce on this, but uh, this is beef. Let's see. Here we go. Mm. Ooh. You can see this. They put pickles on it. See that? They put a pickle on it. I didn't expect them to put a pickle on it. I don't know if I like the pickle or not. All right, let me try this. Okay, so let me give it to you straight. It's okay. It's not that great. The meat doesn't have a lot of flavor, and that's one of my favorite things about beef brisket. It usually has a really rich flavor, and uh, it's kind of bland. The barbecue sauce is kind of meh. Not a lot of flavor to it either. It, it doesn't really pop. Um, the pickles were surprising and not really welcome. Uh, they, I, I didn't like that. Uh, I think I would have enjoyed this more if it had some cheese on it. Beef brisket is supposed to have crispy edges, and this doesn't have any crispy edges at all. It's very thinly sliced, which for roast beef is great, but for beef brisket, you kind of want it to be a little bit more chunky. And because it's so thinly sliced, it comes out dry, even though there's a good bit of barbecue sauce on here. But it, it kind of gets lost in your mouth because there's so much of it and it's all thinly sliced. And beef brisket doesn't have a lot of moisture in it naturally. So, uh, I don't know. I totally forgot that there was King's Hawaiian Rolls. They didn't add any flavor to it at all. It was just kind of bland. Uh, it's not a bad sandwich. It's just not a great sandwich. Maybe my expectations were too high. Overall, I'd give it a six. It's good. It ain't great. It's just, it's a sandwich. I may have just had too high expectations for it. Could be just the one that I got. It might just be this Arby's, but I didn't really enjoy this. So there you have it, folks. The beef brisket barbecue sandwich on King's Hawaiian Roll at Arby's is okay. It's about a six. Not that great, not that terrible, but ask for them not to put the pickles on because that's just not good. Hey, if you enjoy these videos, always make sure to like and make sure to subscribe to my channel. For Ray's drive through Reviews, I'm Ray Hollister.